Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, I want to show you how to attach images into your AutoCAD. So if you have a PNG or JPEG file as a picture and you want to basically bring that image into AutoCAD as an XREF. So I want to show you how to attach it, how to change the brightness, how to fade it, how to remove the background and much more addition that you can do to that image that you can bring into your AutoCAD. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and let's jump into AutoCAD so I can show you how to make those addition to an image. In today's episode, uh, we want to take a look at how to attach images in AutoCAD. So what we want to do, basically, we need to go over um, to insert and all the way in the import reference panel next to the import you can see this is attach so you can open it up and you basically select the at attachment or the image that you want it's going to open up another box for you called attach images you have the name you have a relative path um, that you can basically select you also have full path and no path you can have a specify scale if you want to specify it or if you want to make it smaller or bigger when you bring it in you can identify that also the insertion point um, if you have a specific location or if you want to leave it at zero 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 that cat is going to place it over here right when the x and y exist also if you want to make any rotation uh, you can specify the angle for your actual image that kind of come into show detail right here is going to basically give you the resolution of the image that you're bringing in also is going to show the uh, unit um, the pixel size and also the unit for the pixel so you'll be able to see what it is it's just a few um, info that you are getting when you are importing any type of image so uh, when you are happy with all of this we'll just hit ok it's going to take a second and it's going to bring the actual image into AutoCAD and it's going to place it at 000. So right now you can see this image is an external reference. Um, I have a drawing open but it hasn't been kind of changed into DWG. If I click on the image you can see the details on the image. Right now just one drawing open but the image is an attachment, is an external reference PDF that we brought in. So if I go on that uh, basically top corner, you can see it says raster image. Um, you can see the type of it. If I click on it, it's going to open up an image tab. Basically, it's going to give you few items to work with this image that you have in AutoCAD. Um, so as soon as you click on it, image shows up. You can basically change the brightness of this, like you make them um you know just brighter also you can deal with the contrast you can see um the color is gonna change um you can make it fade if you have anything in the back of this image that you want to show also you have the clippings if you want to create a new boundary if you want to remove the existing one create a new one you'll be able to do that in a clipping panel under the option you can show the image so this one kind of hide and um, kind of show the image you still have the boundary because you need to select that image to activate the image tab but you can kind of remove it and the good thing is if you put the image frame so right now it shows one it means we have one frame in the model if I change that into zero it's going to take away that frame amount the image and the image is turned off so there is no way for me to bring it back so just make sure you um, kind of have that frame like command so that's a kind of really really good command if you are bringing an image you don't see anything image frame is a great command to bring back at least the boundaries and by selecting the boundaries you get access to the image tab and from there you can show the image you kind of turn it on because you know if you have a default setting that everything is turned off when you bring in the image you won't be able to see so this is a great tool to kind of bring an image back. If you import and you don't see anything, that's because the frame and also the image is turned off so you can kind of bring it back.
if you have a different type of background behind uh, the image, you'll be able to use the background transparency to kind of transparent this one and you see the other one in the back. So you can kind of turn it on and off. Right now, I don't have anything behind it. So it's not going to remove it. But if you have anything behind this, it's basically it's going to turn it off and you'll be able to see any annotation, any type of, some type of drawing and modeling behind it, you'll be able to do. And then right now, that little kind of box is going to turn on and off the external reference for you. So you'll be able to see how the external reference is going to work. So you also can click on the PDF. You can unload, reload, detach, attach. And you can save this as a DWG and turn them into DWG and you can detach the PDF image. So this is going to help you to create a really good, um, you know, like a drawing or uh, modeling that you have. To, if you want to show some images in AutoCAD and uh, it'll be hopefully a good point. Let me know if you like this content. Thank you for watching.